guys. So today I thought I would share with you my new mantle that's kind of fall, kind of more like Halloween. Um, I went with kind of a modern black and white look. So I'll probably only keep it up through Halloween, but I think it's kind of fun or whatever. So I used, I made everything here for about $10 because all I had to buy was a paper pack from Joann's that was on sale. So, um, and then everything else I had on hand. <laughs> so I made all of these little pumpkins for the mantle and the shutters, they were already here. So, and this garland that I made, that I made a while ago. So that was already there too. But, so I made all the pumpkins using this fun paper pack. And the best thing about the paper pack is that I can use it for a ton of things. And I mean, for $9, I can use it for so many projects. So it was a good investment. So it's the Midnight Chic Stack from DCWV, which is one of my favorite paper crafting companies because they have the best Boy. patterns and colors and all kinds of things. And I love the big stacks because it's just the best deal. So I just took all the scrap wood that I had in okay. my garage and I Let's just cut it to whatever size. I wasn't worried. I wasn't worried about what size it was or measuring tapes or anything like that. I was just cutting it off. Um, so, and then you can see I didn't do the backs because I just wanted to save the paper of time before I put these in the box for my fall decor Halloween stuff box. I'll probably just paint the black, the back black. You could paper it, you could paint it, all that, but I, it's not going to be seen. So it's just, you know, life's short. Don't paint the back. I don't know. So what I did was I painted the sides black and I painted like the edges and then I just Mod Podge some paper onto the front. So with these cubes, I did two sides. So, so yeah, I did two sides because I knew I was gonna put them on an angle like that. So I just painted the sides and then the edges and then I Mod Podged the fronts. And then I had all these spools and I had little cubes. So I kind of liked the look of all the different ones. So I had the cubes that I painted black and then these little wooden spools that I also painted black. And then I just hot glued these guys on top. And then the last thing I had to do was just to tie a little like ribbon on there, which is just some ribbon I have for like Avery's bow making and stuff that I do. So. I just used what I had on hand and I tried some colors Whoa. and I didn't really like how the different colored ones looked. So I just went with white because I really like how it's just all black and white. So it's a super simple craft. I have a link to the tutorial. I'll put it down in um, the description and you can see step by step. It's a super simple project though. So yeah, I hope you try it out. I hope you subscribe and hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much. and. I'll leave all the links below and thank you much. So much. Yeah. All right, bye.